Hi folks, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around an 8.5 by 22 Neo aluminum enclosed car trailer. The NCB is a typical beaver tail car hauler model. This one here has got the Vinos shown here in silver exterior. Neo uses the O30 aluminum. This can come in 3,500 pound axles or this one's got 5,200 pound torsion with the aluminum wheels. Let's take a walk around the trailer. We'll show you the features. So up front, Neo uses the drop leg jack standard. Notice they use the Demco Easy Latch coupler. Very simple coupler. Simply open it up and then as you lower it on a ball, it'll self close. Very slick setup. Uh, if you're not familiar with the drop leg jack, a lot nicer than a swivel or an A-frame jack. Simply pull the pin, let the inner leg drop down to the ground. Uh, Neo's got a lot of cool fabrication uh, equipment in-house. They can do some neat stuff not found on a lot of other trailers. Notice the, uh, the kind of neat looking stone guard they've got. Also, you'll notice they've got the scuff guard going down the side of the trailer. Uh, they're doing a round top Vino's, very difficult trailer to pull off. It's got an awesome look to it. Notice they put the name badging in the front. Again, very neat design. A couple things we really like about Neo, you don't see a trim at the bottom around the trailer. That's because these guys do an integrated frame, which is different than what the majority of the industry uses. Typically, you'd get a frame and then a tongue, uh, basically a frame built on a jig and then a tongue underneath. Uh, on this one, let me show you what they do. It's a lot beefier uh, frame design, ties in a lot better. Okay, these guys, again, integrate the frame. Take a look at those cross members that they've got underneath the trailer. A lot more significant than what we see on most of your aluminum enclosed. So again, it's a, it's a triple tube tongue, integrated frame design. Look how far back that uh, center triple tube wraps back. Again, these guys have significantly more impressive cross members than what we see on most of the industry. Take a look at their welds. They're not perfect, but folks, a uh, good bit better than what we've seen uh, on some of the other manufacturers that we've carried or that we've seen in the marketplace. Aluminum door holdbacks there instead of a plastic. This has the optional slide out step, gives it a, a neat touch. Uh, notice these guys are using the RV style frameless doors, not the strap hinge doors. Just another sign of quality. They've got the aluminum wheels, radial tires. These guys are using 030 screwless exterior. I think you'll find this to be pretty standard on most in the industry. One of the differences though, I would say Neo does a real quality job. I wish everybody could walk through these guys' plant, but it is more impressive than any other plant that we've seen do it. They've really got it together optional midship uh, indicator Salem vents are optional the NCB name badging at the back notice the clear lens uh, LED lights that they're using okay let me show you underneath another detail these guys do so instead of cutting and splicing a beaver tail which would weaken the trailer because it would lose temper they're going to mill a beaver tail in. I don't know how well you can see that. But they're going to mill a beaver tail into the frame. So they're using a six inch frame on this. And notice how it's milled down instead of cutting and splicing it, which would weaken it. Uh, that's a key detail that we like, again, about these guys' trailers. This shows you a uh, lot more effort goes into making a quality product here. Another detail, they put some extra hinges in the back ramp door, but let's take a look at the actual hinge. That's a Teflon uh, type material they put in these. It's a Teflon impregnated um, hinge. Really neat design. It doesn't need serviceability. It's, again, one of the numerous things these guys do that we like. Aluminum grab handles, thin strip LED lights. They use an NXP stainless steel latch. This is an awesome latch system, very simple. Two fingers, you can open it up. They also use a outside hinge uh, on the door, so there's no need for a, a full butterfly hinge that's gonna get potentially torn up over time. Uh, this NXP ramp door system, not only does it look good, not only is it stainless steel so it'll last, 
but it's it's pretty slick the way it's set up it actually prides the door shut and gives you a real tight seal unlike a bar lock which you push in and it settles back out so again one of the many details we like about these guys car trailers a couple other things they do uh, rear tube corner posts uh, they're not a, a channel or a, a piece of formed or extruded also, these guys do a fair amount of TIG welding in addition to MIG welding. And I want you to take a look at how clean these guys' welds are and then compare it to some of the other stuff you've looked at. Again, they use a mix of TIG and MIG. Okay, there's the inside of the side flow-through vent. They're bi-directional. They're designed for cross ventilation. So you got one at the passenger side rear. You've got the other at the driver's side front. Okay, again, this is a beaver tail trailer. It's a no-show outside, but inside you will see, of course, the, uh, the beaver tail there. Four D-rings for tying down your car. Uh, these guys started using these radius aluminum fenders. This gives it a nice, uh, cleaner look than a box fender would. Again, take a look at these guys' welds. Um, very impressed with the quality that comes out of these guys' plant. the uh, matching inside escape door color you can get these escape doors uh, different sizes this is a pretty standard 48 by 48 of course it's got a paddle lock on you can lock it from the inside and outside this has an optional uh, 39 inch LED light strip there's four of those in a package you've got two in each cove if you want to go a little fancier than this you can uh, color match the cove to the outside so if you had a black trailer you can do a black cove this one we elected just to leave it the same up front there you've got your breakaway battery they put it inside out of the weather which is a smart idea you'll see a junction box so these guys run all the wiring up that uh, the front little bull nose they've got there uh, gives your wiring a, an easy place to access it um, again a lot of smart design built into this so you got your uh, light switch at the sidewall there for your dome lights Inside door, notice same color. You can get a handful of additional options. So it's got the white walls, and then we added the white ceiling to this one just to give it a, a nice finished out look. Okay, another little detail these guys do whenever you go with the finished ceiling, uh, this also has the finished light cover at the back. This one's standard 6'6 six, six height. You can get uh, extra height on these, uh, generally in increments of six inches. So you're outside of the escape door. Notice too, this is a one piece round top cove. It's an 080 extruded. A little bit thicker, a little bit nicer looking than the uh, color matched 030 that you sometimes see. And this one's also got the Arctic Arctic cord, optional Arctic cord, I'm sorry. It's just a cold weather rated harness that's designed to stay flexible down to negative temperatures. Again, you see some of the design, the uh, stone guard that they do. A lot of neat, neat things they put into these. Let's take a look and see what the empty weight of this is. So this one's got the optional 5,200 pound uh, axles, 9,900 pound GVW. It's showing 6910 on the payload, so that means this one's going to weigh um, right around 3,000 pounds. Again, folks, this comes in different sizes. I believe we can go as short as 18 foot on this. I think 26 is the longest. There are different styles. You can get the same one in a Liberator, which would be a similar trailer to this with a uh, flattened bullnose type front. They also make this in a spread axle beaver tail trailer, which would have a, a pair of fenderettes. Um, they also make a, uh, an NCX, which is a super heavy duty loaded up uh, car trailer. This here, however, uh, due to price point, size, function, etc., would probably be the most common. If you have any questions on this, give us a ring, 717-220-4220, or visit us on the web at best choicetrailers.com